Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Okay. Uh, giant murder scorpion. You're actually not that giant, uh, but you're pretty big and you're scary, but I'm shooting you and we're getting away with it. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Cry of Fall. I'm just kind of planning out my day here. So last time we went over here and we discovered the beach. Finally, we found the beach. We also found an alien teleporter, which was way more interesting than the beach. But we found the beach. And this time, I think we're just going to bang a left. We're going to go this way. We're going to see what lives over here. I've made, as usual, some preparations. So I got some food on me. I'm topped off with water. In fact, I'll just have one quick drink before I go. I've got crossbow ready. I've got my rifle in case I need it. As usual, I'm bumbling around in the dark, so I'm sure I'm going to get killed by something. But off we go. Another great adventure today. That's the plan. We're just going to head out, see what lives over on this side of the map, if I can in any way traverse this little mountainside here. If I happen to see some rubber along the way, some rubber trees, that would be ideal. I'm always running a little shy on that. And really, my big goal for today is learning points. I want to get as much tech under our belt as we can get. And you know what's going to help with that? Cutting down stuff. Virtually everything I do it could have the potential of giving me a learning point. So we're going to do that. There we go. One learning point right there just for chopping down a tree. Speaking of learning points, I haven't gotten some of my completionist stuff done. So apparently I've learned mushrooms. Yep, we definitely found a bear and a snail and a starfish. The starfish was pretty cool. And we've looted a junk pile, or a garbage pile, a slightly different garbage pile. Well, there was a whole bunch of learning points right there. What could I be doing with that information? Now I've got 176 of them. Tier 2, let's just start banging it out. You know what? Let's just wreck this. So this, yeah, stop asking me things. This, and I've already got the respirator and a leather helmet. Great. We've done all of defense. How about uh, offense? Let's go ahead and get that done. So what do we got? A laser sight. Ooh, that sounds really cool. Uh, but I need 12 gauge buckshot first, which I'm not as enthused about. But there we go. We've got all of offense now. May as well finish off decorations because it's me. I got one decoration shy of finishing that out, but that is basically done. All right. Back to plan A here. Let's keep moving along here. Don't want to linger too far around here. That's where we uh, got annihilated by that queen insect thing. I mean, I know that event is gone, but now I'm just sort of hyper concerned about this area. Okay, doesn't look like we've discovered much up here. Fog of War clearing. Let's go see what lives up here. And don't miss any good mining opportunities, too. I'm always going to be needing something along those lines. Copper, iron, whatever you got. I got prospecting level six right now. Where am I at with that? Uh, prospecting. Here we go. So my speed is up 12% right now. Cool. Great. Lumbering. Yeah, I'm... Chance to get saplings. Ah, that's where I've been getting the saplings from. It's because my lumbering skill went up. What about building? My speed is faster. Okay. Crafting speed up on crafting. How about survival? Yep, my health and stamina has gone up. Great. Cool. Neat. All right, let's keep the mining operation going on then. Eh, I got a bit of a wolf problem here. He just got a tiny little nibble out of me. I assume this is not a beach. Now that we're clear about what the beach issue is, and it's all about the seashells, that's what defines a beach around here. Yeah, you're not really much of a problem anymore. Again, you got a little tiny bite out of me, but we'll heal that off. That's easy. Could get some sugar out of there. Is this a thing? Can I do something with this? No, that is apparently purely decorative. There's a snail. I probably won't fuss with that. And a chicken. I'm gonna weirdly ignore that. I will grab the sand, though. Sand is handier than either a snail or a chicken. I'm gonna track along the water here. I don't know what that is over there. I can't... Wait a minute. That's a rubber tree, though. That's just a chicken. Cool. Chicken, you're free to go. Rubber, no, we're taking you. I got a snake defending this area here, and that's not gonna end well for him, because snakes are kind of two-shot items at this point. Hunting level up. No bad thing there. Grab the crossbow bolts when I remember to, which is not often. And then more rubber trees, please. We want all the raw rubber I can get because that is becoming more and more valuable. All right, well, we are we are somewhere new. Not really much going on up here. I'm, we're going to have to track pretty far and wide to see anything brand new. I would love to find another teleporter. 
and see if we can go back and forth, because that's kind of the whole point of teleportation. You can go back and forth between the two points. We'll see if anything pops up. And what popped up was a spider. Okay, I'm pretty okay with you guys. You are not as threatening as you once were. It's one of the things I like about Cryofall. Um, I do feel like I'm making progress. Slow progress, to be sure. But these guys were terrifying to me. Now they're just sort of annoying. Go ahead and shoot you a bunch of times. This appears to be spider country over here. I say spider, they've only got four legs. Um, oh, you almost got a hit out of me. Oh yeah, now you're running. Now you're running from me and Captain Crossbow. Grab a little snack on the road. I brought plenty of food to be dealing with this. I cooked up a lot of stuff before I left. Oh, another rubber tree right there. And what's going on over here? That looks like a slightly different colored thing. That would be great if it was the tropical forest. I'd love to finally get these exploring the biomes thing done. That's been hanging out there for a while. As has the mulch thing, but I'm less interested in mulch. Well, up to survival level 9 for killing a random snake along the road here. And speaking of roads, what's going on around here? This is obviously where the road from my base loops around. I get that. I just want to see what's going on. Ooh, a boar. That's fine. We're, we're okay with you guys. You know what? Go into rifle on this. Go into rifle. And thank you to someone in the comments who pointed out that I can shoot a bunch of times with my rifle before I have to reload. So there's like five shots in that before I have to reload. Again, I'm probably going to go right back to crossbow because with these low-level enemies, the ammo is just easier to deal with. But I didn't even notice that. Yeah, two out of five shots. I can just keep firing five times in a row with that. I thought I had to reload every time. You know, what with it being kind of a bolt-action rifle kind of thing. I'm not 100% sure how most firearms work. So there we go. Get a bunch of shots off on that. There's a trash pile right there. Nothing really popping up here. Nothing of note so far. Oh, this looks new. Doesn't look... Oh, oh, scorpion. Big, big scorpion. Okay, this is definitely new. This looks kind of swampy. Doesn't look like a tropical forest. It looks like a swamp. Okay, how am I going to do against giant murder scorpion who's not psychic or radioactive, or at least as far as I can tell? As far as I can tell. What if we go to rifle? Now, what is the changing my ammo? Is that T? That's T. I've got four of these toxic bullets right now. Hmm. How much, how much of my luck am I going to press here? Because I got all the way out here. I don't want to get immediately murdered. I'd like to check this area out. Oh, definitely swampy. Yeah, this is not tropical anything. This is... Oh, what's that? What's that? I want that. I want whatever that is, too. What was that? A blue herb. Okay. Neat. What is this? This is what I want to know about. What's going on here? What is that? What do we got? That is coal. Okay. I'm sure that's handy for, like, power and whatnot. Giant murder scorpion is right below me. Just keep that in mind. What's going on here? Is that copper or something or iron? Yeah, that's fine. We found that before. Actually, I should be chopping down these trees. I wonder if the trees might give me something new. Let's go ahead and just destroy nature as we do. No, just generic wood out of that. That's fine, though. That's totally fine. I mean, that that murder scorpion, that's certainly going to give me a knowledge point or two, or a learning point, rather. Grab this clay. That's always handy. I'm just going to scout around before I commit to murder scorpion. And I'm going to crossbow this boar just so he doesn't come up and bite me on the butt. I totally miss that. Uh, there's something up there. Oh, okay. Different giant murder scorpion. Different giant murder scorpion. Take take all the shots I've got in this. Take all the shots I've got. Okay. Reloading. Reloading. I don't have any more poisoned ammo, but I've got regular ammo. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Okay. Uh, giant murder scorpion. You're actually not that giant, uh, but you're pretty big and you're scary, but I'm shooting you and we're getting away with it. All righty. That worked. Yeah, I killed a burrower. You say burrower. I say giant murder scorpion. Took a lot of ammo, though. A lot of ammo on that. Boy, those poison bullets. I got to make more of those when I get home. That was pretty good. That worked out well. All right, it's getting dark, and I'm in a strange swamp that I've never been to before. This is not going to work out well. We remembered what happened the last time when snakes would just come up in the dark and bite me on the butt, and then I would be dead. So... With it getting kind of towards dusk here, I'm out of the swamp. I might just kind of find a spot to hang out 
until daylight. I mean, I've got, technically I've got a light on my hat, but I need a battery to make that go. It's not going to do anything. What's right below me? Is that giant murder scorpion? I kind of just want to see what it is before I commit. No, it's a wolf. Okay, that's fine. I'm not as fussed with you. Grab some of these bulbs here. I have water on me, but there's no reason to waste the good water when I can just pick these. Now you, you up here, you're different. You're sort of um, bulbous, disgusting mutant boar. I'm going to see if you're as vulnerable as regular boar. Not as such. Looks like you got some higher tanky armor on you. Okay. I can broadly cope with you right now. Oh, spiders. Spiders we don't... Oh, how, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, go to the rifle. Go to the rifle. Let's get this done. Two, three. Reload. 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 Oh, he's getting another bite in. Yeah, he can tank like nobody's business. Nobody's business. A mutated boar. Neat. Um, actually, just go back to crossbow. Spiders are fine with crossbow. Well, between this guy and giant murder scorpion, I'm going to have to start bringing some healing items out when I go out on these little hikes. Because they are definitely getting some hits in, and I want to be able to heal this off while I'm doing it. Boy, I'd love to find another teleporter. Now would be about the greatest time in the world to find a teleporter. There's some more swamp down here. Oh, God, murder scorpion. Okay, okay. This is, this is, this ain't fine. I, oh, okay, you're just going to... You're going to back off over there. That's good. Because I don't really have a heck of a lot of ammo right now. What are you? You're a regular boar. All right, I'm into some areas that I'm not, not specifically comfortable with. And it's getting dark. I think I'm going with plan A. I'm just going to basically sit here. Maybe craft some crossbow bolts, have lunch, and wait until it's daylight. Because I am just going to get wrecked out here in the dark. What I can do while I'm sitting here, though, is get some food going. I obviously killed all those things. I may as well take advantage of it. So I put up a quick campfire. May as well get some lunch going. Don't really... Actually, for all those things I killed, I didn't get a lot of raw meat. Weird. I can make one more rust shroom here. When it's cooked, it's not going to be as poisonous. Probably just go with the raw meat. Food, not so bad. That's another thing I like about this game. I don't feel like I'm constantly having to shove food in my mouth just to keep going. I had a couple of bites on my way over here, but my food is still well within acceptable limits right now. I like that about this. So I got plenty more food on me here. In fact, you know what? I may as well just eat it up. I should do this one so we can clear out a spot here. Yeah, I'm just going to consume all of this. I have water in my backpack here, and I can find some more of those bulbs not sweating water right now. May as well get my completionist stuff for those two guys that we killed. So the mutated boar, and what were you again? Burrower or something? Anyway, giant murder scorpion. I've got 137 learning points. Let's keep the tech trees going here. You know what? Just finish out decoration. There we go. Done. Finish that. Oh, uh, cooking, I could unlock that. I mean, we're going to need them all eventually, but I'm just going to go down the medicine path here and get that done. What is that? Antitoxin. Yeah, I'm going to need... What have I learned to make a bandage? Fibers and green herb. Is that something I can craft on the fly? No. I need to be back at base to do that. It's unfortunate. I'd like to be able to craft that out in the wild. Let's go back to um, learning things. So... Sure, you know what? We'll just go down fishing, I guess. Woot, fishing. All right, now all I got to do is get enough points to unlock cooking and then go right down the tree. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in that tree, though. Is that coffee? Oh, my God. There's coffee in this game. There's... Okay, we're not, we're not stopping until we've made coffee at base. I have a goal. Well, dawn's starting to come up, and I've spent some time just chopping trees down to the tune of lumbering level 8. Excellent. Feeling a little bit better now that it's daylight about going out and continuing the little... Oh, yeah. Wow. You were right next to my campsite. I'm really glad I just huddled close to home during that. I'm going to be a little more careful moving through here. I could probably, with a bit of luck, take the... Oh, boars. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. Go out of that. I accidentally misclicked something. All right, there we go. Boars I can deal with, but the scorpions, I might be able to crossbow them to death with some luck, but I'm not counting on it. Oh, I'd actually like to get those water bulbs while I'm looking right at them. I'm just going to stick around here, get you taken care of. There you go. I think you got a little nibble out of me, but nothing of note. I want to grab this, 
I want to grab this, and then I want to see where we're at. I'm just going to drink down all of those water bulbs. Where are we exactly? Okay, so it kind of did a little bit of a diagonal up here, up into the swamp. Okay. Wow, only 13% of this map has been discovered. Oh, we got a ways to go. Um, If I were a tropical forest, where do I think I'd be? We found the beach. We conquered that. What if I did a right and started to track back towards base? I think I'm going to do that. Let's just start heading in this direction. My inventory is getting a little full anyway. It's probably time to think about heading towards home. Okay, what is that? It's a beetle of some sort. Let's go, um, let's go rifle on this one. This could be really dumb. You know what? Worst case scenario, I die. I'll spawn back at base. I'll still have my gear. I'm just going to be beaten up for a little while. I just want to see what happens if I shoot you. Oh, I've attracted your friend, the giant murder scorpion. Yay! Okay, um, wow, you move like lightning. Okay, more shooting, more shooting. Okay, you're backing off. Great, great. I only have two shots left in the rifle. All right, one on you. Got you. And then another one on you. Go to crossbow. And we're just going to have to... You don't move as fast as your beetle friend does, which is great. I'm pro... Oh, and there's a boar. Of course it's boar time. Why would it not be? All right, keep shooting. Giant murder... I really can't afford to take a hit. Oh, you're running. Good. Uh, boar, come here. I'm actually concerned about all the ones that are running, because what if they decide they're more courageous and start coming back? I'd also love to get that coal while I happen to be looking right at it. Pretty sure that's going to be good for a generator of some sort. And there's a snake. Okay, and there's a snake. Great. Okay, boar done. Don't even care about the looting at this point. I'm totally 100% going to die. Could I eat something like super, super quick? I can. I'm poisoned. I really need that antitoxin. I'm dead. Yeah, it was that black beetle. I was bleeding. Okay. All right, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We're back here. This is all fine. This is all fine. We had a good little adventure there. Let me get the old furnaces going here. All right, so I'm a little beat up after that. I'm going to be kind of sad and not feeling so good for a little while. Actually, I say that. Where's my status effects? Usually when I die, I'm weakened for 10 minutes. Huh. Weird. Okay, well, uh, get all of that in there and get all of this in here. Anything we need to be putting somewhere else, let's put somewhere else. Storage box here, match all of that up. Thank you very much. And that lightened up the inventory, no problem. I'm going to put those herbs in the fridge uh, because that's where, that's where things like that live. So match all of that up too. How are the eggs doing? Well, the eggs are not completely deteriorated. Potatoes are doing okay. All right, let's look at um, where does healing stuff live? Ow, I need the medical lab. Okay, I can I actually got a spare room over here. I can put that together for you. I think I've got all the things I need. So what would that be under? Other? No. Industry? Medical laboratory. What do you think I need? Some planks and one more, actually a couple more bottles of water. I can probably put that together for you. So I got to make a bunch of planks, no problem. And I found some bottles of water in the uh, the generator, so I just robbed the base of power, but I think it's justified, frankly. Okay, so you can go right here, and then let's go ahead and build you. I gotta get a new toolbox soon. This is gonna be bunk. And then, uh, like, what's what's your deal here? Just get, go away. What's your deal? Okay, I can do bandages if I had green herbs. Well, fantastic. Guess who's got a bunch of green herbs in his fridge? I say a bunch, I mean three. Okay, we'll focus on finding more of those. I do often just bypass them. All right, let's get at least some bandages crafted here. So bandage, yeah, craft me all the ones that I can. Great, now I've got some degree of healing. What else have we got in here? Herbal remedy, um, that is energy tablets, antitoxin, that probably would have been good, except I was bleeding, that was the real problem. Anti-mutation medicine, I'm really looking for a, a pro- Mutation medicine, that's really what I'd like to see. Let's put you right down here where you should be. Okay, now what? Ammo. Ammo is what I need now. I need, uh, I've actually got the copper ingots for that. I just need 
black powder. Well, I've got some of that in storage, and this takes the standard ammo and the toxin. Okay, let's get a bunch of stuff going on in here. I know I've got black powder around here somewhere. There's my toxin right there. Ash, no, i got to get that rubber. That's not rubber, that's sugar, but that's rubber over there. i got to get that raw rubber dealt with at some way. Oh, there's black powder. I actually don't have as much as I thought. What is it? Okay, what does it take for me to make black powder? What do we do here? Is uh, the potassium nitrate and charcoal I got plenty of and sulfur powder. Hold up, hold tight with that cryophile. I'll be, cryophile, I'll be right back. All right, some red hot inventory management later, and we are in business. Okay, craft all of the things that you can do there. So we'll make some black powder, then I'll make some more ammo, and then I'll make a portion of that into the toxic ammo because that seemed to be working out pretty good. I liked that. So let's make, uh, you know what, just make me the max. I have more copper ingots going in the furnace anyway. So this is fine. I can make some more of this. Now I'm going to really have to start focusing more on getting that potassium nitrate and the other stuff, the sulfur powder. And with this, I'm going to make, actually I can make a lot, quite a bit. I'm going to make, say, five of that's going to give me, yeah, make that. Not make that. I want to save that stuff for special, but I want to have it available to me. Have a few bites of food here. Have a quick drink of water. And I'll put those remaining bottles of water back in the generator. Make sure we got plenty of water for that. Uh, anything I need to be cooking here. I got one piece of meat. May as well get that done. No mushrooms, nothing like that. Let's just organize that a little bit better. Okay, I've got basically the basics in here the basics. All right. Yeah, focus on that potassium nitrate, the sulfur powder. Got some sand here. I should be making uh, the glasses of furnace thing. I've got those cooking right now, quite literally. That's fine. We can, we can get back to some glass later. I want to make some more jars so we can make more bottles of water. All right. If I wanted to go somewhere... Oh, hi. Uh, guess what? Your lunch. I'm going to stash the respirator too because it's basically almost garbage at this point. Speaking of garbage, I saw somewhere in the tech trees there's actually a garbage bin. I can just throw things away, which is very good. Uh, no, no real, yeah, no real jump up on knowledge points. Not even enough to get cooking unlocked. Okay, what's my next plan? Where are we? I mean, we're at base. I know we're at base. Where could I be going? I could go down here. I could go down here. Can I just kind of make a bit of a X shape here and see what's going on. There's a giant murder scorpion down there. Let's just take a quick trip. This is just going to be an in and out kind of trip. And if I happen to see any herbs along the way, we'll get those um, just for more bandagey kinds of items. Ooh, learning level eight. That's got to be pretty good, right? What does that do? What does that, what does that actually mean to me, game? Where is where's learning? Learning? Learning, searching for blah, 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 blah. learning. There we go. Learning points gained. Okay, great. So I get some extra learning points, even better. There is some rubber trees right there. Eh, a bit of a wolf snake issue over here, but after the murder scorpions, I'm feeling pretty good about these guys. Uh, you are good. You guys are just fine. Just fine. Uh, there's something else over to my right there that I didn't immediately see while I was running away and shooting things with a crossbow. Uh, get the bolts, by the way, while you're here. Get whatever this is, purple herb of some sort. Get this, get that. Now, what were you over here? There was somebody over here. All right, you know what? If you want to run, you run. All right, right to my right is one of the giant radioactive and or psychic murder scorpions. It's hard to tell. They're both terrifying, and I just have no chance with them right now. But down here, we have not been. So let's head down in this direction. I'd love to do some mining or stuff, but mostly, since it's about to start getting dark soon, this is just going to be a quick exploratory mission. I will gather some food while I'm here. No reason not to. I'm going to ignore the wolf for the moment. Let me just see what's kind of in this neck of the woods. There's a dinosaur over here and a boar. I'm actually just going to go ahead and flat out run away. I'm not even with these guys. I mean, the boar is being... Oh, and a wolf. Okay, in the dark. This is, okay, you know what? Go to the rifle. You made ammo. You may as well be using it. Uh, there we go. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You're, one of them is dead. I saw loot come up there. Yep, get you, get you. Reload. This is why we made the ammo. Make this a little bit more efficient. And you, dinosaur friend. Oh, and snake. Great, I'm poisoned. It's the snakes in the dark. This is what keeps getting me. 
I think somewhere in the dark I took care of the snake, but the dinosaur just won't quit. I wonder if... I feel I did better with this guy with crossbow. I wonder if they have some sort of defense against some things but not others. I mean, that would make sense. Maybe this guy is just more... Where did you go, by the way? I'd like to loot your corpse. I can't even see you. Uh, maybe they have some sort of defense against bullets but not crossbow bolts. I don't know. However, let's not make the mistake that we keep making. Let's not bumble around in the dark until something comes up and murders us. Let's just chill right here. Jeez, you know, we just got this world event here. Space debris has fallen. I have no doubt I'm going to go over here and be murdered. Or murdered on the way because there's a snake right there. Right in front of me. This is how they always get me. They always get me in the dark. Um, I'll just actually run away from the snake. Because if I could maybe run in and get some cool stuff, that'd be okay. I'm sure I'm going to be murdered. I'm sure there's something horrible there defending whatever it is that's just dropped. But geez, you know what? I'm in the neighborhood. I'm not that far away. Let me, uh... All right, is anyone trying to murder me? No. Okay, let me check that map again. Yeah, just keep going the way I'm going and just sort of skew slightly northeast. All right, I'm just going to see what's there. I have got to get that light on my head working. Holy McMoley, these guys just come out of nowhere. It's just a boar. No big deal there. But, again, um, you know, murder in the dark. That's what we're doing here. Could, could you just die? Um, now. Thank you. Because I'm very, very close to this thing. And I'm... Oh, God, there's another snake. Uh, you know what? You're a two-shot deal. So long as you don't bite me, I'm good. Uh, you know what I should probably do? How about we use those bandages there? You know, you made the bandages, Dave. Why don't you... Why don't you go ahead and use the bandages? All right? And have a bite to eat. Actually, this meat is getting somewhat ready to go off, so I'm just eating all of it. I've still got a couple of things of mushrooms, and with the amount of things that I'm killing along the way, I will have a good amount of food to take home. There's the water bulbs right there. Let me just grab these. Uh, right, so apparently I'm in the right area because I've got progress zero out of three on, on things. Uh, wolf, snake, chicken. All right, two of those things can hurt me. What am I, what exactly am I supposed to be doing? I'm sure gathering something, but I don't know what. I, I feel this is going to end badly. I'd also like to find a way to get up in here, which has not actually become evident at this point. Uh, is this a thing? Is this a thing I'm supposed to be getting? Do I do something with this? I don't seem to be able to hurt it. It, it looks like a thing. I don't chop it, right? No? Okay, I can't gather it. That looks like a thing I'm supposed to be doing something with, but I can't seem to figure out how to do that. I feel I'm going to fail a world event. I'm just going to keep plugging along here. Ah, there's dinosaurs and spiders and boars and something else down there. It certainly looks like a snake. So far, nothing to be um collecting, per se. Ah, uh, rubber tree. Could you guys just hold tight while I grab that rubber? And then we'll come back to the fighty stuff in a sec. Uh, yeah, you're going you're gonna to tap out there. Okay, I could just run you out. There's that rubber. You know what? Let me just poke through this. I've almost... I've revealed a good chunk of whatever it is I'm supposed to be revealing. So let me see what I can find. Also, slap another bandage on, man. Slap another bandage on. You, you got the healing items. You may as well be using the healing items. It's not... um, it's Again, it's not readily apparent exactly what it is I'm supposed to be doing. Progress zero out of three. Collect some valuable junk. I would love to. I'm a little stumped on this one. I've uncovered virtually all of the radius of this circle here, and I got nothing. Doesn't seem to be anything unusual here, apart from the usual complement of snakes and boars and wolves. So I'm sure I'm missing something critically important here. Oh, those green herbs? I need those for bandages. Oh, I did find what is obviously going to be another giant murder scorpion home. That goes without saying. Anything anything like this? Come on, show me the murder scorpion. Where is he? Show me. He's always in here. Oh, there's a regular spider. Yeah, I don't... I don't think you can get to me. Could you go over and open that door, please? I'd actually like to check this out if there isn't a giant scorpion in here. Yeah, you can get fussy with me all you want, man. You, you can't... you can't get to me. I got nothing on the world event, but this is somewhat interesting. Especially during... given the fact that there's nothing here... Well, I say nothing here trying to kill me. Nothing here trying to kill me that I can't kill. 
that's the important part of that equation. Uh, I'm just going to circle around, see if there's an obvious door I should be using. Oh, there is. Okay, well, go get the trash pile, because you're probably about to die, so you may as well grab all the stuff you can. Yeah, you're here. I'm, I'm less fussed with you. I do see the giant radioactive barrels that are right below me. Kind of wish I'd brought the respirator along now. Okay, what if I kind of stay away? Oh, no, 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 no. We're getting irradiated. We are getting irradiated. Yep, we sure are. Okay, health regeneration and continuous damage. Yeah, that's... That's the part of that I didn't want. Oh, hi. Yeah, and that damage spreads out to about the road here. And you know what? I probably don't even have, like, a tech level to do anything with anything that's in there anyway. So I'm going to keep moving along. I think my next move... How far away from base am I? Pretty far. At this point, pretty far. I may as well keep plugging along. So I think what I'm going to do is start to carry on in daylight. When it gets dark, I'll throw a campfire down. I should have killed enough things. I've got some food. I can always pick up the water bottle. What is this? I can always pick up the water bottles along the way because there's some right there. What is what is what is going on here? This is definitely a different biome. You you are an armadillo. Hang on. I'm going to have a quick drink of water and then go shoot you and use the bandages, Dave. What is uh radiation poisoning? Oh, well, that's no good. That's no good at all. I don't like that. Do I have enough healing to counteract? I may be dead. Oh, okay, it went away. I may be dead sooner than I thought, is what I was thinking there. Uh, let's go ahead and just drink all of this water. Now I am getting a little light on food, and I haven't accumulated as much meat as I thought. I actually kind of need to go, like, hunting, hunting for food. Okay, uh, let me just go deal with an armadillo. And you know what? I'm going rifle on this. I gotta feel you're kind of armored. It's a snake over there. That's fine. Uh, you're you're actively running away from me. You're just a completely inoffensive creature, aren't you? Snakes aren't. I'm going to deal with your snake friend. And uh, now you're going to run. I don't need the rifle for the snake, but it'll just get the job done quickly. I, um, ordinarily, I want to be very clear about this. In the real world, I would not go actively hunt down an inoffensive armadillo and shoot him with a rifle. But... I bet you I'm going to get some learning points because I haven't done one of these before. Wow, you are running like a champ. You are you got some moves on you. I didn't think armadillos moved that quickly. I shot a tree. Less exciting. Uh, there's a crab. Also less exciting. Oh, there's a different kind of boar. Hang on. Hang on. Um, can we get you shot a bunch of times? And another different kind of boar that's the same as the first different boar. Okay, um... This all is going fine, and then I'm just going to go back to crossbow for the crab because they don't move super quick. These guys are pretty easy to take down. So that's two new things that I just killed right there. And oh, I, I found the forest. Apparently I found the tropical forest right next to the beach. Isn't that just typical? I mean, I found a completely different beach to get the achievement, but boy, there was a tropical forest actually next to the beach. Okay, uh, what do I get out of an armadillo? Oh, it curled up into its little ball. I'm kind of feeling a little bad about this. All right, well, we got things done here. Let's get claim that. Holy moly, that took a while. Uh, I've already apparently done all of this, so we'll claim that. Uh, I've killed all of these animals. That's right, I have chickens, crabs, snails, and starfish. I totally did that game. Now I've apparently already completed this. I just need to make hunter's tools, which I think are actually fairly easy to make, and I've got that one. And then two completionist things for, what are you? What are, whatever you are, I've killed you. And you, that's got to be like a zillion learning points. Yeah, there we go. So research that, yes. And then just go right down the line. If I'm very lucky, I might be able to get all of them. Okay, cool. Only got 16 learning points left, but that is... that's everything. So we should be able to move next time into Tier 3. Alright, I'm seeing, like, some good armor there. Obviously good decorations. That goes without saying. Commerce. Huh. My minting and recycling of coins. Yeah, if I was doing multiplayer, I might care about that. That is actually an excellent place to call it on Cryofall. And here's my plan. I'm going to keep going on my little journey here. 
So when we pick up again, we should be right where we are right now. And I'm just going to keep moving west, uh, see if we can, I don't know, find some more things to murder, get some more learning points, all about the learning points right now. And, ooh, a chicken. No, I've already got one of you. I got the I got the achievement for it. Anyway, we will pick up some more of Cryfall again next time right here in the forest by the beach. Guys, if you're enjoying the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up. No end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Just get right up in his face and shoot him in the face. I'm done with this guy. Go ahead and just shoot him right in the face, please. Yes, thank you. Bet that hurt. I think we're we're officially farming at this point. I, I think, yeah, look, 99%, 98%. Yeah, we're, we're farming now. Elton, were you just scribbling on a map when you put this tour together? Looks like you had some sort of seizure with a pen in your hand. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. I, I broke Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.